Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I mean, welcome if you are not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, well, it's me again with a new crochet tutorial. I'm super happy to be with you again this week. I'm gonna show you how to make this cute cactus. Very good, you know, to decorate your apartment when you don't know if it's end of summer, beginning of fall, you know, like you are kind of confused like I was because it got cold like super fast. I was like, oh, I want to make a transition item, a cactus, which is super summery, but with some like fall color right here. I'm going to show you how to make that one also with uh, these little flowers it's a little bit more summery so i'm gonna show you as well it's gonna be the same base anyway so um, for this cactus if you are a beginner you can totally make the cactus itself happen because it's gonna be only single crochets very easy i would say the tricky part is the flowers if you are a beginner, you may find it a little bit complicated, but I made a video right here to train with double crochet and puff stitches. So I'm sure you can do it. So as usual, the free version of the pattern is available on my blog, crochetpingpumpkin.com, but you can support me, my business, my channel, everything about my life. You can support it by purchasing the pattern on my Etsy shop. Um, like that you can print it because it's a PDF and it may be easier for, for you to follow each step of the video that is coming. So yes, well, thank you so much if you purchased the pattern. Thank you so much for the people who purchased my uh, previous pattern. It really helped me a lot. So um, let's keep going and let's let's start with the list of supplies. You have a little uh, checklist <laughs> right here. So you can check every time you have something, every time you need something, you just, you know, like make a little cross. And let's get started with the yarn. So Berna blankets like that. You see, it's a super thick yarn is to make <laughs> the cactus it itself it's uh, what makes it a big cactus because the yarn is super thick the george or the gauge i need to add my to ask my husband i will say the gauge number six super bulky so very thick and the recommended hook is eight millimeter but because i'm a little bit disagreeable I chose a seven millimeter because I wanted the um, stitches to be very thick. So I chose seven millimeter to go with this yarn and the color, let's not forget the color, smoky green. It's a beautiful green for uh, plants, you see, very pretty. And then the acrylic one like that. So for the story, I actually bought this yarn a month ago and I fell in love. I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty for the fall when I was at Obi Lobby. And I didn't know what to make with it yet. So I was like, let's just buy, I don't know, you probably do the same. You see a yarn and you're like, oh my God, so nice, but you have no idea what to make with it. So I bought this yarn a long time ago. As you can tell, I used it a lot and the color is Autumn Stripe from Obi Lobby. The brand is, I don't know if it's the brand of the name of the yarn. It's, I love this yarn. It's um, acrylic and the gauge is four. It's a medium. So for the pattern, uh, you will see it's written in the pattern. I use both ends of the, of the yarn because I wanted a, a thicker thread so i i just doubled it so please do the same you know for, uh, when you follow the pattern if not the result is gonna be different so this one very pretty i show you again the color look at that so pretty and that's why you can make like crazy pom-poms you see they all have a different colors oh so pretty ah, makes me happy <laughs> and then you get a uh, you get you will have to get a brown 
acrylic yarn like that this one is my go-to for brown yarn i think it's so pretty it's from red heart and it's super saver is a very classic yarn very famous so it's acrylic the gauge is four millimeter and and i use it all the time i used it to make the gingerbread pattern last year and because it's such a nice brown you see and the color oh yeah the color is called cafe latte very pretty and very perfect to make the color of the ground you see of the soil not the ground the soil so um, that's it for the yarn then if you want to make you know like the little flowers you pick whatever colors of acrylic or cotton you want it's really you would choose um then you will need a six millimeter hook this is for this one um then you will need some cardboard right here so this is to make the pom-pom uh, you can also find some pom-pom makers right here but because i only had one i didn't want to buy a bunch of them because it's a small one and i wanted a big pom-pom so honestly if you don't want to buy it you don't have to because you can totally make it with cardboard it's a little bit longer but honestly if you make a pom-pom like me every two years it's just not worth it so cardboard obviously you need a compass to make the the round i mean you can do it by hand i just don't know how to make a perfect round like that then a lab counter right here because you will need to count a lot of rows when you make the cactus so lab counter very important a darning needle as usual to sew the elements together stitch markers as always uh, what else oh good scissors because when you will at the end of making the pompon you will need to cut in the in the slice i will say of the donuts you will have to cut so you need a very good one honestly i had one i don't know where it is i had one that was not good and i really struggled so i bought a new one this one i'm very happy about it and it's saint Ger. you know i believe it's a french brand yeah, I'm pretty sure. So I found it on Amazon. I will put the link. Very good. To cut the pom-pom. And craft glue right here. I always use this one from Elmer's. It's perfect for crafting. And also when it, it dries, it, it becomes transparent. So it's very, very good. And yeah, it's the one I use all the time. And I... Oh no! <laughs> the pot! I forgot to tell you. Oh, yes. Yeah, so see, I didn't put it together yet because I wanted to show you the pot. So here you will need some stuffing from, I always go for the polyfill one. So you will need some stuffing, not a lot. Up. And a terracotta pot. I love this color. I think it matches with, uh, with everything. I bought it in a garden store at um, Lowe's. Lowe's. I'm not used to say the name of the store, so Lowe's and the size is 7 inches diameter, so from here to here, and 5 inches high. So you need to get something with this dimension, around these dimensions, because if you follow exactly the pattern, you will, you know, in it will not fit if you don't get uh, if you get a smaller pot for example you will not uh, fit voila i think that's it if you have any question about the supplies or the pattern please let me know in the comment section and let's get started with the pattern so the following video is a visual support for the cactus crochet pattern the links are in the description if sometimes the video goes too fast you can slow it down in the youtube reader si tu parles français r0 r1 r2 etc sont des tours et r O1, RO2 sont des rangs when a round is made of six times the same sequence of stitches the video will only show the first sequence 
I will only show one single crochet and one increases. For example, it's R3, one single crochet, one increase six times. So now let's get started with the video. Let me know if you have any question in the comment section. <laughs>
So you should be done uh, with your cactus. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please send me pictures. If you make it, it always makes me super happy to see your creation. You have every links uh, in the YouTube channel description. So please send me pictures and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like that. I see you very soon. Bye bye.